All right. Dun -dun 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 -dun. I ain't afraid of no ghost. Let's get in there, I guess. Um. Yeah. Alright, let's check out this place first. There's an even older and more ancient and crotchety computer. And there's some keys. Well... The fuck? What the fuck just happened? Did someone drive this fucking thing into the side of my building? While I was in there? The fuck? Ghost. Don't be an asshole, alright? Oh, you're gonna be an asshole, aren't you? Alright. Frip and frip. Great. Alright, guys. Let's do this thing. Fuck. Okay. You fucking kidding me? Really? They're going like this is full creep show horror movie thing. Ow, what the. You're fucking throwing vases at me now. That's what we- this is what this has come to, is you're just gonna whip shit at me when I'm not looking. You know what? Damn it. Holy fucking shit. Wait, there, the ghost is telling me someone is trying to kill me? That doesn't make any sense. What's going on here? Um... Okay, well this gun is obviously doing me no good. Fuck. Oh, you didn't. There's no way out. Awesome. Alright, well. Let's check over here. Or not check over here, I guess. Huh. Hmm. All right. Elevators don't. Well, this one's completely. Fu wow. Yeah, this one is spectacularly fucked. All right. Well, that's not gonna work. Um. God damn it. Okay. So the ground floor is clear. There's nothing but a bunch of stuff for the ghost to throw at me. Um. Let's see here. Oh man. Clock is ringing. What? No, forget you. Oh, Jesus H. Christ. Fucking. Oh. God damn it. Uh, Alright. Below difficulty 8? I'm pretty sure I can't even blood buff up to that. to save it to heal because lord knows I'm going to get hurt down here. Can you hear that music on the recording? That's really weird. It's like... It's not organ music, really. It's just like something. I don't know. Weird. Alright, we're going to keep going. Oh, what the fuck? That actually scared me. Whole... Fuck. Go this way. In hotel laundry room, I guess? Here. Whoa, I can actually put away my pick. That's cool. Alright, let's lockpick it. Let's come on. Difficulty 8. Fuck. Alright, well, we're not getting out that way.
Okay. What the f Fuck you, I'm getting out of here. Or more into here, more correctly. What do we got? Hotel hell. Child severed head found in laundry room? When was it? It doesn't... Late edition. It doesn't say the date. Okay. Oh, Jesus Christ. Alright. Oh, and now it's locked again. No, it's okay. It just opens really slow and scary, that's all. Great. Alright, well. There's red light here now? No, it, that's that's the same as it always was, I guess. Um, laundry room. I don't want to go back in the laundry room. All right, here we go. You guys saw that one open, right? Here we go. Oh. Great. What is going on here? Fucking hell. All right. All right, let's do it. I got a gun, you fucker. Fuck. All right, never mind. breakers back on. It should make this place infinitely less scary, right? Or is this what it's gonna do now? Oh god, I'm getting out of here. Fuck that. Fuck, fuck this shit. Fucking fuck fuckers. Heal. Elevator is a bad plan. Christ. Christ. Oh. Well, what you got? What you got? Ah, oh, fucking fuck. Hey, there's the girl. No, fuck you. Another body? Pilots say second child was chopped up like firewood. Okay, so what I think what we've got here is we've got a couple of different spirits. We've got this guy who's chasing her with the axe, and we've got this girl spirit of this person who couldn't escape because she was murdered. And my bet here is that the girl is trying to help and the guy is trying to hinder. Creepy at all. Um, so, someone's mom, it's like their new boyfriend or their dad kind of went crazy, I guess. I'm not, I don't know. Get out. You lock the door. <sighs> shit. Shit. Shit, 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 shit. Alright. Um, let's check. 
check the other side here. I don't want to go fall back down into the basement. Um, there's the, the elevator that's open. Oh, thank God. Nothing in here. Lock picking again. Difficulty 10? Yeah, right, man. Like, I don't even know if I used all the experience I've earned so far on lock picking. I could get that high. I guess they just don't want me to succeed there. Okay, so there's that elevator. No. Hmm. I can sort of see. Oh, no, that's light. I was like, I can see the trap. Alright, is there anywhere else I can go? Can I. You are an asshole, ghost. You are a big asshole. There, that's what I'm trying to do. Is that doing anything? Is that doing anything for you? Can you guys hear that, like, audio artifacting? That's really kind of clever. Like, it sort of cracks and popples. Cracks and popples. Alright, well, that's not doing anything. That's not doing anything. What do we got? Nothing down there. I guess we go back downstairs. Or can we take the other elevator up? I don't really want to ride the elevator more, but I guess. Can we go up? Can we go down? We can't go either. Maybe there's no button prompts at all. Oops. Put away your knife. Alright, I guess we have to drop back downstairs. Oh, and I, yeah, I can't get in there. Um, okay, so... Let's see. Let's go back down to the first floor and see what else we can find. Is there a way to go around the... Yeah. Ow. Fucking ghost. He's like, you walked around my trap. Fuck you. Um... Maybe I can get somewhere on the first floor because the elevator is broken. I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, like, is this open now? No, it isn't. There's nothing I can do to open that. Okay. Well then, are there any other rooms? Or where am I supposed to go? Did I miss something in the basement? I don't think I did. Did I miss something in that one creepy room? Maybe? I don't know. Door is still locked. That's for damn sure. We don't have any evidence of the ghost other than all the stuff it's been throwing at us. Uh... I heal back up to full. Well, I can use that stairway. That's a nice touch. Okay. Okay, there's nothing in here I can do. Just this. Alright, so there's nothing else that I can do except for that. Alright, cool. So we're good with that. So let's close this door. What is wrong with this door? It's so weird. All the other ones close automatically. Get out. This was the last major sighting of the ghost. Aha! Well, I apologize for my idiocy, guys. I didn't think to check the nightstand. I'm... What? Okay, that's even creepier than throwing stuff at me. Alright. You know what? Fuck you, clock.
Was there a fire? Murder, suicide. House killer possibly responsible for Inferno. So yeah, there was a fire. Are you kidding me, really? I don't want to go down there at all. Is there nothing else in here I can do? There's this nice little candle. Can't take the candle. Alright, um, that's logically makes sense because I'm a damn vampire, but... Alright, well, let's do it. I do not want to do this, not even a little bit. Take a five second break and read this diary. Um, that's the wrong one. Oh, okay, chart remains of what looks like a diary. Just arrived here at the Ocean House. We have a week long holiday here in Santa Monica. Ed has booked a room for us in the hotel's grand opening. It's a wonderful place, almost magical. The children have been swimming all afternoon. First two days have been almost perfect, except that Ed can't seem to stop asking about the locket I received from my mother. He seems to think it was sent to me by some other admirer. Ed can be sweet, but sometimes his jealousy gets the better of him. Hopefully, he'll feel better tomorrow. Sun is out today, not a cloud in the sky. Ed seems a little on edge. He keeps guessing as to who my new boyfriend is. Silly Ed, that's not good at all. I had a picnic at the hotel for the hotel guests this morning. Quite a grand affair. Ed is dar in a dark mood. I don't know what I can do to reassure him that he is my one and only love. The only time he seems to brighten up is when he was speaking to the groundskeeper. Boys and their toys. We only have two days left, and thank God we're finally going home. Ed won't speak to me, nor the children. I've, we found him more than once in the back bathroom, holding the locket, staring at it. I'm afraid he suffered some sort of breakdown. I told him that we can go home, but he just shakes his head. He won't look at me. I just want to go home. Ed left early this morning, and I haven't seen him since. If I haven't seen him in another hour, I'm going to call the hotel manager. Against my better wishes, Ed Jr. went to look for him downstairs in the basement. I'm going to go send Tiffany down to fetch him. If, wait, someone is knocking at the door. Oh, dear God. Ed, covered in blood, coming to kill me. Lock myself in the bathroom. He's gone crazy. He keeps shouting, we'll be together forever, he'll, and he'll never let go. Someone please help. I always find it funny that people will keep writing after they're in trouble, but... Um, all right, so... We do. We have the woman, the innocent mother, and we have Ed. Ed is the nasty man with the axe. Jesus Christ. Fuck, fuck. This is a bad place to be if the ghost is gonna start throwing shit. Oh, holy fuck. Oh, Jesus. Let's just go. I know your name now. I know who you are. Just where I want to be. Crawling through fence with murderous ghosts trying to kill me. Be careful. Holy fuck. floor here. Okay. This is bad. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, yes. Alright. Do 
you have any idea what room they stayed in? Maybe this one? I guess not. Is that a music box? It was a music box, it just turned itself off. Great. Uh, Ed? Fucking stop. That one has a door handle, but doesn't open. Murders unsolved. Mother or father, father could have been an Ocean House killer. Mm, maybe that's why she's still around. She wants to make sure he gets what he deserves. You saw that, guys, right? There's somebody on the other side over there. I need to figure out how to get up to the upper floor so that I can come back down. Get over there. Okay, that's that one. Okay, let's go this way. She's there. All right, come on. She's the good one, guys. Let's go. Come on. What's in here? Nothing. All right. There's maybe where I can get up. No, I just... All right, never mind. Is that? Oh, it's a wall sconce. Okay. All right, here we go. Nothing in their clothing trunk. All right, let's climb up these broken, burnt up boards. Oh, that is fucking cool. But I want nothing. Oh my god, I want nothing to do with that fucking spectral fire shit. Get me the hell out of here. Oh fucking shit. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Go, just go. Do I have a little bit more blood? Just go. Just go. Oh. I'm gonna run out of blood in here. Part of the hotel is fucked. What in the hell? There it is. Wow. Thanks, Lady Ghost. Really appreciate it. Wow. Look at that out there. Alright, let's get out of here. Before we get killed. Problem is, Ed isn't any more dead than he was when we got here, and he's probably not going to be particularly pleased with letting us leave. We just got the murderer's fire axe, ladies and gentlemen. That's exactly what was happening. Um, let's see if we can climb back up to the floor we can get out. Yeah, right here. And then climb down from here. Yeah, alright. <sighs> Thanks.
Thanks for the help, lady. I'll make sure you get exercised. That was genuinely, genuinely pretty scary. I mean, for a game that specialty isn't horror, that was really well done. I mean, it's better than, I mean, it was scarier than the entire sum of Resident Evil 5 and 6, like, squished together. It's also kind of a neat little, little side quest. I mean, not nothing, nothing wrong with that. Uh, well, we got some neat stuff out of it. We got Ed's axe, which I feel kind of terrifying about carrying around. But, um, that and, well, we got the locket for Therese. Now, I think I'm gonna go, <sighs> no, I can't go home, I am almost out of blood. I'm gonna wrap up this episode, though, because we're running a bit long already. So what I'm gonna do is just head up, hit the streets here. We'll call that safely away from the ghosts, although who the hell even knows. Um, and we'll just pick up right here next time. We'll take the locket to Therese. We'll see what else we've got. Um, get some blood at the club. Alright. Next time, guys. Fuck the Ocean House Hotel. <laughs>